Absolutely. It's a nice neighborhood. I never would have thought that. People would describe this Cornelius neighborhood as a quiet one until recently. Yesterday there was all a commotion. We had, there must have been, you know, 40, you know, people out there. Friday night, police searching for 11-year-old Madalena Kojikari and investigating her home for evidence. Early Saturday morning, Cornelius police arresting Christopher Palminer, her stepfather, for failure to report the disappearance of a child to law enforcement. Just hours later at 10.15 a.m., her mother, Diana Kojikari, also taken into custody. It's very concerning that something like this could happen, that it was so close to us. Neighbors puzzled by the news, some telling us the family kept to themselves. Well, I, I, I would assume that they are suspects. Quentin Williams, former FBI agent and investigator, says the timeline of events isn't adding up. Madalena was last seen on November 23rd, but weeks later was reported missing to the school on December 15th. 22 days later. You would assume that the district would, would ask after a few days because uh, they send notes home. Uh, and now in the digital age, we all get emails when our kids are out of school for one day. So the parents knew immediately that the child was not in school. Leading him to believe the reason for both arrests on Saturday. They didn't report it. <laughs> We spoke to a dozen neighbors who tell WCNC Charlotte they noticed burning in their backyard at all hours starting on November 27th, including Saturday morning, just hours before her mother was taken into custody. Today, neighbors still left heartbroken by the news. Uh, you know, I hope that, you know, she's run away or something and comes back. And questions start having answers. You know, all you can do is hope and pray. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.